it's LaVon and I want to show you how to upload a video that you've created elsewhere to the UTSA Media Library. First of all, you're going to make sure that you're logged in and then you're going to click on the upload button. You, you click on the upload button and then you're going to get another dialog window. Here you're going to have to fill in all the blanks and I'm going to go ahead and add a title. Then I can select a category, and normally you're going to select the college that you're working in. I'm going to select Online Learning Department. You're going to want to probably add a description here. This helps you not only search for your own videos, but if you have quite a few videos, it's going to help uh, make it easier for students to search. And then I'm going to make sure that my contributor name is there. I also want to put in my email address because I'm going to get a notification when my video has completed uploading. Of course, you'll want to put in your own email address. Um, now, here is where I can add tags. I don't have to add tags, but if you want to add tags, you just add them here. And these, again, will help you search. Once I've done that, I'm going to click Save. Now I'm going to get to the point where I can upload a file. And you'll notice the kind of files you can add. You can add movies, MOV files, which is QuickTime. You can add an AVI file. Usually AVIs are quite large because they're uncompressed. You can add a Windows Media video. You can add an FLV, which is Flash video. You can add a plain MPEG. You can add an MPEG-4, MPEG-3. You can also add WAV files, which are just sound. And you can add Windows Media Audio, which is also a sound format. So we're going to go here and click on Upload Media. That'll take us where we can select, for, select our file. And I happen to be on a Mac. So I'm going to go to the Movies folder where I have my video. And this is a MOV file. It's a movie file. You're going to navigate to wherever you've saved the file on your desktop or on your computer and you're going to select it and then select open. Uh, this may take a little time so I'm going to go ahead and pause here the video and I'll come back when the video has uploaded. Okay, so my video has finished uploading. Now it's going to load some thumbnails for me where I can select the frame that I want to start with. Um, I recommend that you kind of choose carefully because you don't want to have, if you have a person, you don't want to have their eyes closed, you don't want to have their mouth open and funny expression on their face. This is especially true if it's you. Um, anyway, this first frame looks pretty good. I can also upload my own thumbnail if I wanted to start with, say, uh, a screenshot of the title of the video. I could create that, maybe just create a PowerPoint slide with the title on it and then save that out as a JPEG file and then I could upload that in place of the thumbnail. But I'm going to go ahead and use this first thumbnail, then I'm going to click on the Next button. Now, if I have a video and I have students in my class who need captions, I can upload a caption file here. I can also upload a handout. So you can, you can add up to three files per video. So if you wanted to add your caption file here, you could. And then if you wanted to add, say, a handout or a form that needs to be filled out, you could add those here. I'm going to go ahead and skip that because I don't have that at this time and I'm getting the done message. Now if I have other videos to upload, I can go ahead and click here to upload another video. Otherwise, I'm pretty much finished. Now as I said, if you've included your email address, it's going to send you an email to let you know that the video has uploaded. And it won't happen instantly. You need to know that it takes a little bit of time because your video is going to be encoded and it, it may take up to a day to get your video to be there. So please be patient.